Introducing the Reliacatch Specimen Retrieval Bag. A strong, easy to use specimen retrieval bag that you can count on during laparoscopic procedures. This video will demonstrate how to use the Reliacatch Specimen Retrieval Bag. First, let's take a look at the packaging. The Reliacatch Specimen Retrieval Bag consists of a long cylindrical tube and a ripstop nylon bag that comes deployed in the packaging. The bag is used to encapsulate and contain specimens for removal from the body cavity. The device includes a fork handle used to retract and deploy the bag. The specimen bag is designed for introduction and use through all appropriately sized trocar sleeves. The Reliacatch device is available in 10mm and 12mm sizes. Now, let's see how the Reliacatch specimen retrieval bag is used. Fully retract the bag into the device tube by pulling back on the fork handle. Do not pull the fork handle assembly completely out of the device. Gently release trapped air from the specimen bag prior to full retraction by compressing the bag during retraction. Insert the instrument through a trocar sleeve. Look at the visual indicators on the fork handle to orient the bag during deployment. Using caution, Push the fork handle forward in a plunger-like fashion so the bag is advanced into the cavity. The mouth of the bag is maintained in an open position by flexible forks without the aid of additional instruments. Ensure that the fork handle is pushed completely forward before proceeding further. Place the specimen into the bag using an atraumatic instrument. Once the specimen is completely within the confines of the bag, Remove the tail tab away from the fork handle. Fully remove the fork handle from the device. Do not attempt to redeploy the fork handle. Completely cinch the bag by pulling the suture loop. When cinching the bag without forks present, use caution to avoid spillage of contents. The bag can be uncinched using atraumatic graspers while inside the cavity. Finally, let's take a look at how to remove the instrument specimen bag, and trocar. Remove the instrument and trocar from the body cavity, leaving the bag and tail behind. Do not attempt to pull the bag through the trocar or outer tube of the instrument. Exercise caution when using clamps or other surgical instruments at the incision site. Pull up on the tail until the neck of the bag reaches the body surface. Visually inspect to see if there is an air bubble in the bag. To release trapped air, use an atraumatic instrument to enlarge the neck of the bag to allow air to escape. If the bag does not pull through easily, enlarge the incision to accommodate easy removal of bag, taking care not to puncture the bag. That's the Reliacatch device, a strong, easy-to-use specimen retrieval bag.